Okay, so we're starting our day off right with that McDonald's coffee, getting that caffeine pumping through our veins. Uh, we got an appliance removal job in Sargornsville. So uh, we were supposed to do it Saturday, but it rained. And then today, Monday, it's still a little rainy, but we're going to go ahead and head over to that job. But before we do that, we first have to go to the scrapyard. You can see it's a little busy on this Monday morning. Tried to get there early as possible, but had to drop the kids off at school first. So a few moments later. So we're all done recycling the metal. We weighed out about 540 pounds of metal. So uh, the steel was 65 cents a pound. So that was a total of $35.10. So we got to stop at Weagles, get a little bite to eat before we start. Because I'm telling you, man, these prices of some of this fast food has just gone up. So yeah, we're going to get ourselves a little chicken junior sandwich, $2.89. Large soda, $1.99. So here we are at the job. As you can see, look at all these appliances we got to get. We got a refrigerator, this old vintage Pepsi vending machine. Man, that thing was heavy, let me tell you. Uh, we got a stove, we got another stove, washer, dryer, and then check this out. Yes, even a chest freezer, of course. You know what's going to be inside. Yeah, look at all that rotten food. Just wait till you see what's underneath later on in this video. So here we are taking apart the stove. We had to get that handle off so we could squeeze that vending machine in. We needed just an extra inch or two. So we got that bar off and we're able to see it in that space right there to get that vending machine right in there wedged in so it didn't roll around. Um, we, here I'm measuring to see if we could actually lay the refrigerator down long ways, but um, we couldn't. We were off by like six inches, so we just kind of left it as it was on the trailer like that. Uh, we laid that other white refrigerator you see here uh, long ways. So again, we had to take off the doors because we still had to squeeze in that uh, chest freezer. And again, we needed a couple more inches, so we just took off those doors, no problem. And here we are putting in the uh, chest freezer. Uh, surprisingly though, the food in the freezer did not smell as bad as it looks. I've smelled a lot worse. I didn't even need a mask for this one, which was kind of nice because I'm not going to lie. When you get those freezers, those refrigerators full of food and it's been sitting there rotten, man, that stuff smells. So here's everything loaded down. You can see we fit it all in. Uh, just took a little bit of finagling. But yeah, we got in all the appliances. You can fit a lot on this 6.5 by 12 trailer. Still got to build the sides up on there. But um, yeah, we got it all in as you can see. No problems. Didn't have to worry about strapping it down. So before we can take the appliances to the scrapyard and recycle all the metal, we have to take out all the food. We can't just take it to the scrapyard like that. And when we did that, we found all these maggots in the bottom. Just look at those things. Oh, it was so gross. But luckily, there wasn't a lot of food. And it didn't smell that bad. We've seen a lot worse. So we made it to the scrap yard for the second time. Safe and sound. We're letting the claw work its magic and do the heavy lifting for us so we don't have to. It's always neat watching this machine work and just pick up these appliances. Just so easy. So now we're weighing out. I'm going to put the receipt right here on the screen to show you how much the appliances weighed. And how much we made off the scrap metal. But just thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you. Catch you in the next video.